What you just saw there was Russian weightlifter Adam Malagov snatching 181 kilograms, approximately 398 pounds. And something about this lift that I wanna point out to you guys is his uncanny ability to pull himself underneath the bar. So once he reaches this fully extended position, there's really not that much force driving the bar upward, mainly just force pulling himself underneath, allowing for that very solid catch position. The lifter you just saw there was elite CrossFit athlete, Emily Bridgers. Now in this, she's snatching 180 pounds, approximately 81, 82 kilos, which is a very, very impressive lift. One thing I wanna point out is that she doesn't do a very good job of pulling under. Now before we go forward, I just wanna say, Emily Bridgers is an incredible athlete. I am just simply pointing out some technical inefficiencies. So when she pulls, you can see She's nowhere near extended enough once that bar reaches its launch point. So we're gonna give her the benefit of the doubt and say that this is her extended position. Even still, the bar is pretty far away from her and you can tell her hips aren't completely extended. After this point, she pretty much just falls underneath the bar and catches it. Not a very good sound lift, but again, this is max effort and very impressive nonetheless. One thing I wanna point out to you guys is the exact moment at which both of these lifters' feet hit the floor after extension. Now once your feet hit the floor, the sooner you can apply force back into the bar, the better. If you look at Emily on the left, she's in no position really to apply force back into the bar. However, if you look at Adam Melagov on the right, within the next frame, his arms lock out and he's able to apply force back into the bar and leaving him a greater chance of success. Now both of these lifters were successful, however, one of them is a little bit more efficient. Here's a progression you guys can use to help with your snatch technique, and more particularly, the pull underneath the bar. The first movement is called the no-footed tall snatch. In this movement, your feet are already gonna start at catch with or squat with, and all you're gonna do is use your arms to apply that upward force into the bar and pull yourself underneath into that overhead squat position. Now it's really important to note that I am not using my hips at all to get that bar moving up. I'm simply just dropping underneath. The next movement is called the tall snatch. In this movement, your feet start at about hip width apart and this time when you pull the bar up, you drop underneath it, moving your feet out to that catch position. Really important thing to note here, guys, is that as soon as your feet hit the floor, your elbows need to be locked and the bar needs to be exactly in the correct overhead position. The next movement we have is the high hang snatch. So this time we're actually gonna use our hips to get the bar up in the air but you almost wanna think about stopping the bar in the air and pulling yourself underneath. Now, that doesn't actually happen. It's one fluid movement. But what I want you to focus on, rather than getting a lot of height on the bar with the hips, just get the bar up a little bit and then focus on violently pulling yourself underneath. This is gonna translate very well to the full snatch. 